Burnt Pan already confirmed in that spot, but still wants to try his hardest on this Jala. The only dedicated, like, t truly dedicated Jala main that I know. Three, two, one, brawl! Alright, well, in we go. Burnt Pan's, of course, gonna be playing his, uh... Jala. I think he's, like, the only dedicated Jala main that I know of. But, uh, Ornamus is gonna be playing... Nash. I have not seen enough Nash. Ever since Chugum stopped playing, there's just been zero Nashes. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Yeah, Chugum was like the whole entire like random first Nash forever. That was just, like his idea. And then we have Milo, uh, who is from Brazil, who's talking to chat, who's a dedicated Nash main, who at least plays quite a bit of it. But that's he's not on NA. We don't have very many Nash players. And Ornamus is actually making it work. Recovery comes out. It, it's interesting to see. But boys, that side stick, that was such a hard read. Burnt Pan was assuming that Ornamus was going to continue with the momentum, and he just stopped and waited. That was crazy. Yeah, that was pretty good. Reading that signature usage from Burnt Pan and punishing appropriately. But no KO coming out of it, and both players, both players are looking for their KOs right now. Ornamus looking for that down stick, but it won't come. And actually gets side aired off the edge. Burnt Pan with a small advantage here, getting the first stock. Yeah, it was looking a little bit bad for him, but Ornamus just lost that edge that he had at the start of the match, not looking for a dive kick in. Nothing's really spawning in favor of him. If a gadget spawns next, that'd be pretty terrible, but Burnt Pan trying to guard that weapon fails, and Ornamus gets that spear, but only a D-Light Nair to be able to punish him. Tries to come in with that signature, and it's the, the, the ground pound coming down. Doesn't KO. Yeah, Ornamus is looking for these KOs, but they're just not coming to him. Ooh, Finally finds wow. the down stick. That was, yeah. that was the last thing that I expected to hit Burnt Pan. Like, just a raw, like, he's just sitting down there. Alright, I'm just gonna down sig, smash to the ground. Rocks go flying, and Burnt Pan's stock is lost. Weapon toss, neutral light comes out. Tries to go for a double neutral light, picks the spear back up. He's tossing the spear into Burnt Pan's face quite a bit, and it's working out. Nair comes out, no recovery, but no punish. Yeah. Down sig from Nash is one of those, like, signatures that... It's very hard, and depending on how much like input delay you have, it's sometimes even impossible to dodge it out of reaction. And considering how far it travels, if you can't dodge it out of reaction, it can catch you off guard a lot. And uh, Ornamus using that to get a KO, but he is already in kill percent, Ooh. eating a haymaker. That's gonna be a stock. It looked like Ornamus was trying to jump out of the way instead of dodge out of the way of that. He just was not fast enough. Nash getting punched off the stock. Side lights are coming out. And yeah, I'm trying to remember. I know they changed how Nash's down, down sig on hammer worked off stage if it didn't impact the ground, but then they changed it back? They reverted it, yeah. It's it's back to the old self. You can uh, actually true combo out of Nash's down sig if you don't touch the stage. Interesting. And I think it's the only uh, signature that you can follow up with a true combo. But, but I think uh, the, dam the damage in the knockback is significantly altered because it doesn't hit the stage, correct? Yeah, and that's why you can go out of it. Weapons tosses exchanging there, but benefiting Ornamus, he manages to even up the stocks, but he's so heavily damaged. Well, Ornamus has to, like, play perfectly for a while now if he wants to come back. So far, so good, but he eats one or If he eats any more, like, hard-hitting moves, he's just done. A Sarah will finish him, a Nair would finish him, a Dare would finish him if it was off stage. There's so much that you have to play around. And with so much to play around, it becomes impossibly hard to play around at all. But Ornament Ooh. so far was doing a good job, but yeah. Yeah, weapon tosses. Done. You can hit quite a few weapon tosses, but there's no follow-up. It's not going to do a lot of damage. And one axe there is all that was needed for Burnt Pan to take Ornamus out. And game one goes to Burnt Pan. This winner's quarters match. Alright, well... Ornamus, it's awesome to see you play Nash, but I don't think that's your uh, strong suit, unfortunately. Well, it's it's hard to tell what Ornamus' strong suit really is right now. I think back in the day he played quite a bit of Bryn, uh, and mm -hmm. besides He's that... He's stick with the Nash. It, it, I mean, I'm not going to lie. If he could make Nash work, that would make me the happiest person alive. I used to be a dedicated Nash main, and I gave up on him because I felt the nerfs to him were just too hard. And I feel like everyone else kind of agreed. Chugum stopped playing. People who used to play a little Nash stopped. Like, Dobrin hasn't played Nash in forever. This character, this is probably the least played character in competitive play. Besides Sentinel? That I know of. Actually, no. Even I Sentinel think... has Physic. Yeah, that's right. And Sentinel Maltenum. actually has a dedicated main. I mean... And Maltenum, who also plays a lot of Sentinel. Yeah. Like, Sentinel's good. That's All right. No Nash means. 
And you know, now that I've said that, people are going to play him just because he's underplayed. I hope that, I mean, I wouldn't complain about that. It'd be cool to see more Nash yeah. play. The thing is, people are going to stop playing him if they're not winning with him. That's the thing. So it's going to it's gonna take quite a few, quite a bit of an effort. Burnt Pan, however, and this also could just be like, Ornamus specifically practicing something that he thinks works against Burnt Pan. That I'd imagine they spar together quite a bit because they're in the same organization. Ornamus going mm -hmm. up to that ground pound, recovery comes out, but whatever Ornamus normally plays, maybe he just doesn't feel like it works against Burns Pan jaw. And a side nice comes side out. Agree. Yeah, okay, so that'll be a very early kill for Ornamus. I mean, so he's... far so good. And I don't, I, I want to stress something. I'm not saying Nash is bad. I'm saying nobody plays him, which is right. a big difference. Right. I personally felt like he was bad, but that's just an opinion, which is definitely not representative. Like, the way I played Nash stopped working, that's why I stopped I, I just imagine it was something similar with Dobrin, because he plays, like, kind of spacing Ooh. when he does it. I really like that side sig read from Burn Pan. He was he was charging that up before Romus even jumped into the hitbox, assuming that he was going to throw out something else. And that bomb going out. Sarah does not hit. Burn Pan finds another Sarah, sends Ornamus off stage. He has to jump above the weapon. Burn Pan's got the sword, but no Nair follow up. Ornamus heavily well, damaged. This is impossible to kill right now. He's doing so good at just avoiding everything. Oh. Oh. Well. Except for the weapon throw downwards. Okay. Finally, he dies, but he did do a decent number on Burnt Pan second so stock. Even got him into orange with that nair. Nice downer comes out. Ooh. Ooh. All right. And a down sig from Ornamus there as he sends him a little bit flying. And now a second down sig. <laughs> what is going on? He just stood still for like a second straight and then just pivot down sig like it was his job. <laughs> Those down sigs, that, that's a huge deal. It's setting Burn Pan flying into kill percent and Jala three defense. You can't just be taking six to the face like that. I like the idea with those weapon tosses, but Burn Pan managed to weave right through and now he's putting the damage on. Nair comes out. Ornamus takes the stock, but he was sent from yellow to orange and what was looking like a really dominating stock. Still a pretty good stock. It's going to take a little bit more damage until he's in kill percent. And in the meantime, he can try to get a little bit of damage, but Burn Pan's making it hard. He like Sarah comes out, tries to go for a rising Sarah. Ornamus going for that weapon. Lands. There's a neutral light before picking it up, and Burnt Pan expecting a chase dodge. Goes for that GCN sig. Ornamus doesn't run off stage for that. And now putting on a side like it's hit by that falling Sarah weapon toss. Spike ball. More down throws being the bane of Ornamus here, but he doesn't get the KO. And now he's got the hammer, denying all weapons from Burnt. And this is looking pretty bad. He gets kicked to the side. Ornamus. Finds his way back and Burnt Pan with a ridiculous side sig there. Gonna get punished for that. And Ornamus is looking for the KO already. He has he's still got two stocks. Looking really good for him right now. Toss that hammer up was in oh. well, wow, okay. That's a two stock. That was really that is early. A two stock. And you know, Ornamus really utilized Nash's signatures. He got the kill with the side sig, he got the two down sigs in the middle of the game. And um that forced Burnt Pan for the entirety of the third stock to try to play around that stuff where Ornamus just beat him with weapon throws and standard hits. Um, that was really well played by Ornamus. And now we're going into game three. On Thunderguard Stadium and no Legend Switch is happening up here. I just realized that both players are playing Legends with skins that have teeth coming out of the top of the mask. It's pretty good. <laughs> something to consider here is we've got Nash versus yeah. Jala. This is a really unfamiliar matchup for me. I mean, I mean Nash matchups in general are pretty uncommon, but Jala and Nash in particular? Yeah, I mean, Burnt Pan's like the only person who consistently plays Jala. There's a few players who like use her as like a counter pick or something because yeah. I mean, she's, you know, sort of adds. That was cool. So Burnt Pan went all the way down so that he could catch the recovery when Ornamus tried to chase him. I ended up working out too. Daylight Sarah comes out, goes for that raising Sarah, the rising Sarah rather, and Ornamus punishes with a downer. Two downers coming out. Bomb! Oh, Burnt Pan barely dodges past another bomb. Ooh, Burnt Pan gets that Sarah, but Ornamus was trying to look for that side light for Burnt Pan into the bomb, and that would kill him. At this percentage, it definitely would. Bomb goes off. Ornamus dodges out of that weapon toss, but Burnt Pan has got the lead again, and he's looking for these falling Sarahs. He's not finding them. That's four Sarahs in a row that he just tossed around the shenanigans, and that recovery does it. Recovery catches Ornamus off guard. He'll lose the stock, but he already has burnt in orange. Nash sigs kill ridiculously early, specifically the side sig and the down sig on hammer. And the side sig on spear. So he has multiple uh, ways to kill fairly early. And the side air might even do it on its own. Uh, something to consider, Nash has seven defense. He can kill people very quickly. Did I say seven defense? You did. I meant seven 
Attack? Force. Yeah, yeah, force. Okay. I don't know why I said defense. <laughs> and that, yeah. and regardless, I know what you meant. And, and Burnt Pan with three defense is going to struggle against that for sure. It's a nice falling neutral that comes out. Sarah comes out for Burnt Pan recovery. Ornamus goes for that weapon toss combo, doesn't get the follow up, and Burnt Pan punishes the side light. He's got Ornamus nearing the orange. Ornamus not finding that nair as Burnt Pan just recovers high and now putting out that side light. Not a lot of damage, but it's good interrupting and puts people in a position to have some kind of follow up. Ormus is really utilizing these weapon throws to full advantage, which is something I like. With a character like Nash, you know both your weapons. They're not like lance sized, but they're pretty big. And they're good, as we can see by Ornamus using them for these uh, up and down throw combos. Uh, Burnt Pan's doing a really good job of playing around it, though, and getting a lot of damage as he dodges past the weapon throws. Ooh. Oh! Sam, that was spooky. <laughs> send him towards the mine. Another Sarah comes out. Ornamus dodges all the way of that neutral light. Oh, Go he down tried light. to do it again, but the bomb blew up early. He would have had it too. Ooh, Sarah comes out. Another Sarah from Ornamus. Burnt. Tosses that weapon forward. Picks it back up, but he just gets oh. steps. That was so good. Ornamus. That was so cool. Hard so red. Momentum there. dodge pivot down sig. Who does that? <laughs> and he did that, not only did he just throw that out, right? He did it specifically reading that Burnt Pan wanted to pick that sword back up. Like, Burnt Pan dodged past yeah. him to pick up the weapon, and Ornamus was like, no, you don't. Crushed his head into the ground with that hammer, and that's the stock lead for Ornamus there. Ooh. That was a really good read from Ornamus. We're back into this. Ornamus ends up in this situation a lot where he doesn't have a weapon, and Hapo... Hapo. I mean, Burnt Pan just continues to weapon starve him. But Ornamus finds the hammer. Ooh, but a side light D-light coming out from Ajala, that's gotta be a decent amount of damage. The one true axe string in the game. Ends up connecting there from Burnt Pan as he's fishing for more downers, but as Sarah comes out, Ornamus side lights him into the orange. Lots of damage coming out from Nash here. That, ooh, that end sync doesn't come close, but the end, the end light does hit, and now Burnt Pan finding that side light, can't find any more follow up, and Ornamus is going for that side sync finish. Burnt Pan dangerously close to death. But every mistake Ornamus makes is just a huge amount of damage from Burnt Pan. The recovery won't kill yet. A second recovery probably will. Ooh. Ground Pound, this is something that I was talking about. Yeah, ground the Ground Pound, pound not, not kill, kill here. Oh, 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 Ornamus putting himself dangerously low against Burnt Pan's sword. The spike ball goes down. He's not going for Ground Pounds. He picks up the hammer. He's got that hammer. Will he put out his signature? That's really risky at this point. That recovery almost puts him towards kill percent. Burnt Pan looking for the Nair. Sarah doesn't hit the Sarah does. Ooh, this is really close now. Either player can kill that side light, puts Ornamus far off the edge. He finds his way back on. Oh! And the cider! He doesn't go for the hammer pickup like Burnt Pan expects. Goes for the cider and catches him off guard. Takes the game. 